Okay, we're here with our 1965-ish uh, Alcourt catfish named Smedley. Uh, you're looking inside here. I wanted to cover a little bit about the fiberglass and gel coat makeup of this boat. Uh, for those not familiar, the uh, fiberglass is a fiberglass cloth that um, has uh, polyester resin and hardener uh, mixed in with it to make it this nice hard material for the hull. And then on the outside of the fiberglass is a product called gel coat, which I like to think of it as just a, a thick paint-like material that makes the boat look pretty and also protects the uh, fiberglass underneath. It's like part of the, all goes together to make the uh, whole components. So when we're looking inside, we kind of look around for, uh, this is, let me get you oriented real quick. Boat's upside down. There's the uh, there's the bow, port side bow. Now we'll come back inside, and when we look inside, we start looking for light spots. Like, see this spot right here? It's light. It means something's going on there. It's gel coat. So if I take my hand on the outside of it, there, there's something missing right there you can probe around see if it feels like the fiberglass is getting soft or possibly cracked but when we come back out again we can look and see that the oh, man. actually a damaged damaged spot right here where some gel coat is chipped Gel coat's chip, so there's actually water getting into the boat there. So if you start to look around, you can find other areas where the gel coat, this little white material is gone. You start to see fiberglass underneath and if fiberglass is thin, like it is on these boats, it can be cracked and the water go right through it. So we're working on these cracks and let me get you back inside the boat here. Because I know y'all love being in here. There's another one over here. So it's right there. We'll come out, we'll look at it. So that's what you see on the outside. It might not look like much, but I can take my nail. That gel coat's gone. It's just the uh, little thin piece of fiberglass underneath is all that's there. So we'll need to get a uh, gel coat repair kit and to put that coating back on there. It'll make it thicker, protect the fiberglass underneath. So one under, another one is <laughs> let's see, where's my little trunk inside here? You see a lot of different spots. The one I was looking at was up on the top here. Yeah, I can't really see it right now. I found one looking at it from the outside. If this will focus or not in here. You can see here, but right below this lip, the uh, gel coat is gone off of that. So while we have this hole in the boat, we can go in there and I'll put just a little small patch of fiberglass behind these places because there probably, there's probably a little fracture there by some kind of impact to seal it up from the inside and then we'll come and also then seal it up again on the outside. I'll use this. This is overkill. You can probably just use a four ounce or six ounce piece of cloth. But since I have this, I'll, I'll cut a little square of it and get it all buttered up with, um, I'm going to use epoxy resin and hardener and stick it inside there just like a little band-aid. But we need to go through and look for all of these and get them uh, patched up, uh, cleaned up. Little gel coat pops, and this will happen. This boat is what 50, 
seven, 69, can't do math. 60, 1965, so it's almost 60 years old. So, see if you don't have a few gel coat dings and fiberglass issues when you're uh, 65. Like here, this one here. <laughs> Definitely need to do something a little better than what the previous owner did that. But you can assess them. Some places this fiberglass is thicker than other by pushing with your finger or get a little small awl or not too sharp. You poke right through. <laughs> but something you can press on it and see if it still feels solid, you're good. Just put some gel coat back over there to cover up fiberglass. Also, you can see that this, don't see a crack. It's got a good color to it. It's not all milky. If it's kind of milky and you start seeing fibers uh, flinging loose, then you probably need to uh, reinforce it. Or in some cases, you know, if you want to go the whole shebang, you can, uh, Cut a piece out, put a backer piece in, put a whole new piece on top of it. Because um, if the fibers are broken, there's no real point in trying to glue the little ends of fibers back together. You want a fibers, a fiberglass cloth or like a thread. It should kind of run continuous. <coughs> so this one, like the other side, we're going to go up inside here and put a little patch underneath that so we can do a little bit better patch on that. And we'll check, oops, sorry about the fingers. Inside here, these, uh, in this case, it's a center board. Trunks are notorious for getting a chip. And we'll keep, uh, we'll just work our way around. Here's one here. I get some water. These are some stress cracks from the gel coat being old. I think this, I have to look at this closer. I can't tell if it's a prior repair or just, or just old gel coat. Sand it down and get some more uh, gel coat on there. And I will probably go with the gel coat. It's the right material and um, versus sometimes we'll just we'll get it all patched up and then we'll just paint I think this boat since the fiberglass is so thin it needs that extra thick gel coat on there the thick how thick I don't know if you look here you can see the you can kind of make out the thickness of the fiberglass underneath and then the little white coating a gel coat on the top which yeah, it doesn't look super thick there but compared to paint that's pretty thick so hope y'all are doing it good and that about does it for now for smedley